A seven on your side health alert tonight about dementia. At least five million people in the U.S. are living with some form of the brain damaging disease that leads to loss of memory and brain function. And while there is no drug right now to cure this problem, some disturbing new science says that current popular drugs may actually contribute to it. Senior investigative reporter Lisa Fletcher on how common prescriptions may play a role in mind wasting disease. Mm -hmm. One of my claims to fame mm -hmm. in the environment where I work is my memory. I remember people, I remember clients, I remember things. Until the day she didn't. Patty Blumenthal works in a D.C. law office and one day found herself asking a friend the names of co-workers she'd known for years. All of a sudden, just not know their name. Is that scary? Oh, frightening, yes. Very. And this was something like I'd never experienced before. Alzheimer's like symptoms, confusion, forgetfulness, and the inability to do simple tasks. Patty had just started taking a medication for overactive bladder, never thinking it could be what was affecting her brain until she returned to her doctor and relayed the symptoms. And she said, stop it immediately. So I did. And what happened to your memory? It's better. I'm not all the way back. And it's not just meds for overactive bladder that could be problematic. We discovered Patty's prescription is part of a much larger class of drugs known as anticholinergics and include popular medications like some antidepressants, anti-Parkinson's drugs, antipsychotics, drugs for frequent urination and incontinence, and anti-epilepsy medications. Anticholinergics are the subject of a recent JAMA study linking them to risk of dementia. I think it's a public health issue. Dr. Sherelle Iglesia is Patty's doctor. She says millions of people are on these drugs, some of which can cross our brain's protective fence, known as the blood-brain barrier. And as people age, a slowing metabolism complicates the problem. You can't get rid of the drug as fast as you, as you typically could when you were younger and there's more chances for these molecules to cross the blood-brain barrier and lead to cognitive dysfunction. Memory loss and confusion in the short term and according to the study which looked at nearly 60,000 patients significant increases in dementia risk with long-term use. Patty says she feels as though critical information was kept from her and wants to make sure others don't find themselves in the same position. And in thinking I was being proactive and in informing myself about this medication, certainly if I had known at the time, I would have refused the medication. Now, not all doctors will be familiar with this study or dementia as a potential side effect. Dr. Iglesia says your physician needs to know the risks so he or she can recognize the symptoms as possible side effects and not necessarily the disease itself. Of course, do not stop taking any medication without consulting your doctor first. Okay, this is just terrifying hearing this, but is this just in prescription medication? No, it's also in over-the-counter medications like some hay fever meds, um, sleep aids, flu medicines. So it's really a very large class, class of drugs, and the side effects have been known for about a decade. What's really important about this latest study is it may not just be symptom-like uh, expressions of Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. It may actually be a trigger for dementia. Onset. Wow, that's yeah. terrifying. More, more tests and studies, of course, need to be done, but this was a big first step in that area of research. A great takeaway also is that she noticed these signs yeah. and she spoke to her doctor. That's, so that's important. also another key is don't do anything unless you speak to your doctor about this, but do speak to your doctor about it. Especially you don't dismiss it either. Right. Lisa, all right. Thanks all right. very much. Thank for you, that. Lisa. Wow. Thanks.